You started learning machine learning and now you want to know what is linear regression? That's right. Hello and welcome to Code Boosters. I am JP and in this channel we learn machine learning together. And in this video we are going to talk about what is linear regressions. Let's get started with this video. In the previous video, we talked about supervised learning and unsupervised learning. And we know that the supervised learning is divided into two categories. This is four, but two categories. And one is regression and other is classification. Regression is where the labels are in the continuous manners and classification are where the labels are in category. So here we are going to talk about linear regression. Now, linear regression model is used when the labels are in the continuous manner. And to understand it, let us switch directly to the board. Let us say we have a data of house prices where on the X side we have the square foot area and on the Y side we have the price of that house. Now our goal is to find the price of the new house whose square foot area is not in our database. So basically we want to, we are given a new square foot area and we want to find the price of that house. Now how are we going to do that? Think. The way we can do it is by drawing an approximate straight line that fits our data set like this. This this straight line fits our data set. Now, if we if we want to find the price of the new house whose square foot area is let's say here, we can find its price by going to this line and then going it here. Bingo, we have the price of that house. And the equation of that line will be y equals to mx plus c. That's basic linear algebra that we have studied. Now I'm going to do slightly different and change this m to theta 1 and c to theta 0. And the reason I'm doing this, you will get to know as we discuss further. But let's say I have done this right now and we have the equation of our line as y equals to theta 1 x plus theta 2. That is a very very basic simple mathematics. Now this was a very simple problem because it had only one variable that is square foot area. But the real world is not as that simple. The real world might have hundreds or thousands or even millions of different parameters. So how do we tackle that? Let us increase our complexity and make from one variable to two variable. I'm going to draw this into three dimensional. So I cannot draw three dimensional on 2D plane so I will need to use some of your imagination. Let's say this is number of bedrooms in house. Bedrooms. So all of the data that it is here are into a three-dimensional plane. I hope you can visualize that. Now let's say if we want to find the price of the house whose number of bedrooms are here and square foot area is here, how do we find that? We can find that by drawing an approximate straight line that will fit to this data set in the three-dimensional plane. I hope you can visualize this as in 3D because I cannot draw 3D on a 2D plane and you know that as well. So let us say that these are plotted into three dimensionals and we have this line which is again 3D. So with this number of bedrooms at this square foot area, the price of the house would be nothing but by this. That is very simple. And what will be the equation of that line? Equation of this line would be y equals to theta 2 x2 plus theta 1 x1 plus theta 0. So now do you understand why did I change from m and c to theta 1 and theta 0? So that if we have num more number of parameters, we can represent that easily with the theta, right? Here x2 can be number of bedrooms and x1 can be square foot area. Anyways, it just works fine. Now we have done it for two variables. What about the multiple variables? For the multiple variables, the line will be y equals to theta n xn plus theta n minus 1 xn minus 1 plus theta n minus 2 xn minus 2 plus dot 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 theta 1 x1 plus theta 
zero. For n features, the equation of the line will be represented by this. Now, as you can see that we are approaching the problem linearly by drawing a straight line. That is why this is called linear regression. Now, in machine learning, we call these variables x1, x2, x3, and so on. We call these variables as features. So, if we are dealing with only single feature, let's say square foot area, then it is called linear regression with a single variable or with single feature. But if we are dealing with the multiple features, then we call it linear regression with multiple features. Great, now you know what is linear regression. To have a quick recap, linear regression is used when the labels are in the continuous manner or numbers ranging from anywhere to anywhere. The linear regression is implemented by plotting a straight line that approximately fits best to our data set. Now the important question arises, how are we going to plot a line that will fit approximately best to our data set? To find out that, let us move on to our next video which is on linear regression cost function. I see you there.